Hi, I'm Dave Schatz with DHS Equipment. We can be found online at dhsequipment.com or dhsequipmentparts.com. Today I'm going to show you a very quick and easy procedure on how to test the new style four prong ignition coil from Honda on their GX240 through GX390. The procedure used on this ignition coil is different than the procedure used on the old style ignition coil where they used a single ground tab. If you try to troubleshoot this coil with the old procedure, you're going to have a misdiagnosed ignition coil every time, which is pretty much what prompted this video. A lot of people are buying coils, calling up later saying, hey, that new coil doesn't work. So if you follow this procedure, it will determine whether you have a problem with your coil or your switch or your oil switch. Okay? So the first thing I do when troubleshooting anything with a, an ignition problem is I remove the spark plug and I install an ignition tester. This will eliminate any possibility of having an accidental start. Okay, so this is the procedure. The very first thing we're going to do is disconnect the three wires from the harness, from the ignition switch, and the low oil switch. Okay, that is going to look like Like this, just three wires, yellow, red, and black. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the red, black, and put them together. It's a butt connector, so you should feel a, a, a snap when they get together. Yeah. Okay, just so you can get a better image of it, the red and the black will go together and the yellow wire will just hang there. Okay. Now that they're connected and the yellow one is hanging, we're going to give the engine a pull and we're going to check for spark. If we now have spark, we've eliminated the coil from the, the possibility of the problem. So the next step, we're going to now connect the oil switch, connect the two yellow wires again, and now we're going to pull start the engine again and check for spark. If we still have spark, that only leaves the ignition switch or the on-off switch as the problem. This is probably the issue. And to confirm, we can do a test with our meter and check for continuity. Off position, hold that on there. So we've got no continuity on the off position, and we have no continuity on the on position. The switch is our problem. So far we've seen a lot of coils being purchased, and the majority are not the problem. The problem has been the switch almost every time. So hopefully this procedure will help you uh, when you go to test your no spark problem. Hopefully it'll save you a little time, a little money, and hopefully that helped. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.